second graders. Happy Wednesday. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is on the at-home learning calendar. So you can see right here, you're going to be writing a sentence for the word ecstatic. We talked about this word yesterday, this adjective. So it's a describing word. Ecstatic is describing a noun, a person, place, or thing. Um, so make sure that you write a sentence and draw a picture to match for our word of the week, ecstatic. And then you're going to be doing your fluency for field house and house mouse for one minute, and you'll answer the questions on the back. Now, we've been practicing the poem New Snow in your purple folder. Um, this has been the poem for December. Some point this week, if it's not today and you still need to just practice today, that's fine. Go to the link on Flipgrid and recite the poem and hopefully you have it memorized. See if you can say it without looking at the words um, as best you can with expression in your voice, loud and clear looking at the camera. I can't wait to hear your poem recitals. Um, you'll be reading today in your winter festivals packet all about Kwanzaa. The winter festivals packet, just in case you don't remember, but I'm sure you do, it has the earth on it and it looks like this. After you read a little bit about the special holiday of Kwanzaa, you are going to be finally getting to use these materials that came in your bag. So there were some rubber bands and a straw, or three straws, and um, some weights, three weights, and um, they all these supplies came in a bag that looked like this at your materials pick up from a few weeks ago. Not this last one, but this material, these materials came from a few weeks ago. So if you look here at our on the at home learning calendar, it says click the link and use template to create an airplane for Santa. So I'm going to click on Santa's airplane. And when I click it, you can see it says um, S-T-E-A-M. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And I'm going to click the blue use template to make my own copy. And then it's going to take you to your own copy of Santa's Airplane Slides. And it gives you directions and a read aloud all what you're going to do to create your own airplane for Santa as just a fun activity. You'll be posting a picture to Seesaw today just using the green button and it says that on here. You'll get to color it, decorate it, change it, and then you're going to reflect too. Reflect. Think about what went well, what didn't go well when you were trying to um, build your airplane. So go ahead and complete all those slides and have fun doing it. I can't wait to see your airplanes and what you come up with. Okay, and then you have some math to do. Now you have a little bit of math in your homework helper book, which you will post and it says the page number here, reading 163, completing page 165. And then you're going to do this ornament if you have time. If not, this might be done at the end of the day. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to find where these numbers match. So the top row and then um, that goes across and then there's a row going down. You're going to add those numbers together and put your answer here in this giant ornament. So for example, four and five, you would write nine in the first square. Now in the second square, it would be four, and then if you go down, it's two. So the answer there would be six. This is the math ornament that you'll do, and this was delivered um, a few weeks ago in your materials pickup. Um, so again, you'll be adding going across, and then you're going to be going down and adding those two numbers together and writing the, uh, the answer in the box. And if you have questions about this, let's talk about it and I'll show you after um, our Zoom today with Mrs. Heifel. So I'll go over this again just to show you, but this way you know what this paper looks like. Okay, and you might not finish that until later, that's okay. 
And you might just have to finish this at the end of the day because you'll be heading to PE with Mr. Taylor. And then you'll be meeting me a little different today, not our usual 9.30 um, time. Since we're meeting with Mrs. Highfill again for our special place on Google Maps, um, you're going to meet me at on using the special link that's on the at-home learning calendar um, a little before 11 o'clock. So just so you're on time, make sure you start signing on a little bit before 11 o'clock or actually right after PE. So whenever Mr. Taylor lets you guys go, try and get ready so you can join us on this link. And at the end of the day, you'll be doing some slides um, and you'll be learning more about Kwanzaa the holiday. Now, at the end of the day, you might need to be finishing up some coloring and um, maybe wrapping a special gift for someone that we'll talk about after our Zoom with Mrs. Highfill as well. So we have a lot to do today. Um, don't hesitate to bring your questions to our Zoom meeting and I will answer them after we're done with our lesson with Mrs. Highfill. We'll go over a few of these things. But now that you know what they, um, the materials look like, I want you to go ahead and get started on your morning and I will see you uh, close to 11 o'clock. Okay, have fun boys and girls. See you soon.